Let's talk about Cal. You have a son. I have a son. His Just name turned, is Cal. His name is Callan McKenna Potter. Cal Potter in the country. Um, yeah, he's just 18. And he is having a career. He's having a career now. Uh, on his own. On his own. He, you know, he was in plays when he was a kid, but he grew up in the country, in a country school. Um, pretty conservative. Um, writing, always conservative. Um, our particular writing in the country. And uh, farm community. Um, but he was in the plays, and uh, usually they were musicals, and he doesn't sing that much. Um, but he played character parts and things. And, um, but we thought it was just a thing. We had no idea that he was going to... And he's doing television. ...be an actor. He, he got himself an agent. He told me at one point in grade 10, Mom, uh, I've got an appointment with, uh, uh, I think it's called uh, Talent, Talent, Talent. I said, Talent House? Yeah. I went, oh, okay. So he, a friend of his, had an agent, was in, this agent, and they were looking for people. So he went in and met with him. I was going in. I said, well, okay. But I said, I, it's too early, grade 10. You've got a lot of school, three years of school. And you live, you don't, it's not a subway ride to an audition. You live out of town. Luckily, I mean, he had been in um, the Three Musketeers that Miles directed, because he fenced, he fenced competitively for three or four years. So he was the young kid in that, and he enjoyed that. And Martha Henry asked him to be in Mother Courage as one of the farmer's sons, which is quite a, a wonderful, because the last scene of that, sorry, there's a drum, but not that <laughs> Car, uh, uh, The drum that my daughter, played by Carmen Grant, left because she was shot, was handed to Cal. He didn't know what to do with it. And Carmen said, give it to your mom. So the last scene is I'm harnessing up he just stands there and passes me the drum. And I tell you, looking at him on stage, taking that drum from him, it was quite something the first time, because I didn't know he was going to do that. But he'd already been an understudy when he was six. And he's working in television? He's working in television. He's What's he doing agent. in television? He, he did last summer, when he was still in high school, grade 11, he did uh, Bruno and Boots, Go Jump in the Pool, um, go, uh, the Gordon Corman books. So, uh, two theatric, very... And then another television series. Two very theatrical parents called Miles and Shauna yeah. have a son yeah. who is going to the non-theatrical television world, mm -hmm. which has its cesspit of mediocrity, mm -hmm. as well as a small, small segment of excellent drama, but mainly yeah. it's a wasteland of creativity. <laughs> he doesn't see it that way. So in terms of your thoughts about his creative part, his uh -huh. creative life, uh -huh. and their the medium that's mm -hmm. pulling him is not Racine, it's not Mother Courage, it's not Brecht, it's not Shakespeare. No, but, but I didn't even think he was going to go into the profession at all. I mean, I didn't know what he was going to do for a long time. He wanted to be a stunt man. I shouldn't say it's a wasteland of mediocrity. I should say network television. You know? A I lot mean, of times has that direction, but there are yes. some fantastic television dramas. I mean, I, I, I think it's... I'm really happy for him because he's tenacious and for him <coughs> to be so tenacious about this and he's done it on his own. He got the agent, he does the self-tapes, which is nothing from us. Maybe we'll help shoot a self-tape once and Miles might give him a few notes, but it has been totally self-initiated. So to me, if he has that kind of uh, drive or persistence um, and he's, and it's, it seems to be in this direction. <laughs> I mean, he did a television series. He shot a movie, it, The Swap, in, in, in February. And now he's doing a, two more, Bruno and Boots, which are quite lovely um, um, filmings of the children's books, you know, preteen, teen, uh, in, on, in Hamilton. And it's the same group of people, and he's having a great time. He loves it. So to me, I go, he loves it. Whether he'll go on in school, we don't know yet, you know? Whether he'll go to any, he's talking about going to maybe a theater school or something. He, he, he was, he did very well in his academics. But he wants to be doing, he's always been that way. I mean, you know, he was like this in the stroller. He had to face front in the, in the, the snuggly, right? So he was always, you know, his, I think his first phrases together were, Cal do it, right? Let me do it. Don't show me. Let me do it. And what does it feel 
to be part of a growing Canadian theatre <laughs> dynasty of children I, who I, are becoming these... Well, you know, I think it's great. You know, I've been acting with Ben Carlson, who I, you know, directed his, her, his father and acted with his wonderful father, Les Carlson, and have worked with his mother, Patsy Hamilton, and, and, and uh, all the kids that are now coming through the ranks. Uh, or are in theater school, or going off to theater school. Uh, and I think, great, great, it's continuing. And, and it means it wasn't such a bad life. If your kid actually wants to do what you did, maybe it was okay. And, and why not? Um, you know, I'm not one of those actors who go, oh, keep my kid away from the theater, anything but the theater, because I've enjoyed my life. I, I have, have relished it and, and because I enjoy what I do day to day. I look forward to rehearsal. I look forward to going and playing. Um, and uh, so I take it as a great compliment in a way that, uh, and also that it's a natural thing. Yeah, I might ask. Uh, Bill Hunt asked him when he was little. We went to see um, The Tempest because he'd read the, the, the cartoon version, the, the, you know, and as soon as Bill walked out, he went, that's prosperous. And uh, we went backstage, and Bill sat down and said, well, young man, do you think you might be uh, in the theater, an actor? And he went, maybe. And I looked, and I went, really? I hadn't heard that before. Um, so it's, it's kind of uh, a testament that you can have a life in the theater, and that it seemed normal to him. It seemed totally normal. Like many of these kids, they spent their lives in green rooms or being toted around from theater to theater or, or city to city. Cal had been in like seven cities by the time he was, you know, four, five. You just took him with you. And so it's the norm. It's like going, well, I think I'll go into the, you know, the, you know, GM factory. This, my dad's been there, my grandfather's been there. So this is the norm for him. And I kind of like that. Maybe that gives them a certain fearlessness because it seems perfectly normal. It's not like the great unknown. You know that there's periods of unemployment. You know that there's it dips, and although in television, my God, you know, he has better actor coverage than I've ever had in my life. <laughs> so, you know, can we move the dental bills to you? But I mean, you know, um, it's a different world, but it's his world. 